Hey down this is Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some more Instagram tea. There's been a lot lately and today we are getting into a caption from the group Red Velvet Yuri and why people are saying she mentioned Jungkook and her getting attacked. I also want to get into V receiving threats for not speaking up about some hate about Jimin and what might be going on. So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified and some new videos drops. And if you're a hater, like to be first, leave your hate comment. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also, and you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into today is Yuri and Jungkook. Yuri is a beautiful woman from Red Velvet, if you didn't know, and she, as well as the other members of the group, have always stayed out of trouble. However, the fandom likes to take her and Jungkook and ship them together to say that they're dating. Any K-pop idol you can think of, there is going to be people shipping them together. I think innately there is nothing wrong with this. However, However, those who take it a step too far and then not only hope or fantasize about the two dating, which is fine, but take it too far by sending death threats or attacks to the other people who come in contact with your favorite K-pop idols because you're scared that your ship is in danger. That is taking it too far and something we will get into a little bit later. And then on the flip side, there's people who don't want BTS to be involved with anyone else or even talk to anyone else. After the official launch of Jungkook's Instagram account, which everyone and their grandma knows about now, there have been a lot of of drama. I think a lot of this will die down eventually, but right now, since all the armies are just excited to have content from the official boys and being able to have photos that are real and not fan edits, it's exciting. I understand that. So Jungkook posted a photo of himself at the SoFi Stadium concert. This was likely before the show started, and he wanted a photo by the big sign to remember this day. It'll be so fun for him to tell his children one day, hey, look, this was the first time we performed live in two years due to the pandemic. Anyway, the really interesting part of today's video is what Jungkook wrote in his caption. A smiley, heart-filled emoji. Not even words, just an emoji. And this emoji is very widely used. I have used it. Everyone I know has used it. It's an emoji that is available. You have likely used it. It's an unproblematic emoji. But when you're in K-pop and a K-pop idol, it is very problematic, apparently. Because shortly after Jungkook posted this, allegedly Yuri from Red Velvet, she also posted something only a few hours after this, and armies were mad that Yuri had apparently stolen this caption from Jungkook. This is an issue because Jungkook and Yuri are heavily shipped and people already think they're dating. Now this is what is being said online and on videos, but I cannot find really any of those hate comments harassing Yuri. So they were either photoshopped online to start drama or they were deleted. Who knows? But I won't post them here. But I was even thinking that if it was true, then Yuri can just delete the Instagram caption, but then it would definitely make her look more guilty. Because why would she remove it unless she actually had something to hide? However, she has nothing to hide and quite frankly she probably didn't even look at the comments. Instead she probably just went about her day. And if you go back to some of her old photos she is known to produce photos and add the caption with a smiley emoji or whatever. She often doesn't even put words. It's just an emoji similar to what Jungkook did. Only difference is Yuri had an Instagram before Jungkook did. It's always interesting to see again if it's true how the fandom reacts to other idols who do anything remotely similar to BTS or any of the members of BTS. I have noticed that the fandom likes to take things that don't involve the boys and make it about them. For example, when the girl from the girl group AOA, the girl named Jimin, had her bullying scandal and people were talking about it, armies attacked those news sites saying to take those posts down because they're ruining Jimin from BTS's reputation. But this has nothing to do with BTS Jimin and if someone is being bullied or a bad person, then fans of that girl group AOA deserve to know so they can choose whether they still want to be a fan of Jimin from AOA. Mind you, I looked hard and couldn't find any hate comments towards Jimin from BTS over this Jimin AOA thing. So this is just armies getting involved when there's no problems. Similarly to how no one has ownership over Jungkook or Yuri and either of them using this heart-filled emoji, anyone can use it. I've used it. This doesn't mean me and Jungkook are more married or dating than we normally already are. It's interesting to me because since it's an emoji, anyone can use it, but people will probably use it after any of the BTS members use it and then be accused of copying. So it's this idea that these other idols need to stop addressing BTS or stop taking inspiration from them, right? Like for example, if Yuri's copying Jungkook's caption was true, let's say she did it. So then armies are like, stay in your lane, stop being so obsessed with Jungkook. He will never date you or whatever these terrible fans say. Okay, so then now what does Yuri have to do? She has to then become so obsessed with Jungkook and every move he makes to make sure she does not overlap with what he does. Like their 
they're making her become more obsessed because if she doesn't monitor everything Jungkook does, she gets death threats. Like when I read these comments that some of these fans say, it's like, is your brain all there? Like what is your solution for every idol to just exit off the planet except BTS? Is that reasonable? I want to actually know what these people look like that are saying this and I want to talk to their face. I want to actually have a debate with these people and see if anywhere along those lines they actually realize that what they're saying makes no sense. It's like half sense, right? Like I can see where they're coming from but then the rest of it makes no sense. Unfortunately, I think these people actually do know that what they're doing is wrong but want to spread their distaste anyway because it's so important to voice these types of opinions. Because 90% of the time it's a brand new account with no photo and a keyboard smash like username and no other information on their page and their only post is like one hate comment that they specifically made this account for to write. There's tons of hate online and to be quite honest no one is going to be able to address everything and it's best in most of the time to just ignore it because you can't stop the hate unless it's something you actually did wrong and will never do again and you stop the hate by never doing that thing again so no one will be able to call you out on something you're not doing anymore. For example let's say the the hate you're getting is about you being gay. You can address and say that the hate is stupid and put out a statement or whatever, but if you're gay, you're still gay. That doesn't change after your statement, meaning even after the statement, you'll still get hate for being gay. If that was the hate you were getting hate for, nothing will change except the fact that you wasted time making this statement. It's almost better to not address it. Jimin has been getting so much hate since the beginning, and it's not over the fact that he did anything worth canceling him for. People sent him death threats for just existing and some shippers, bad shippers, who ship Taeyang and Jungkook together are often trying to get Jimin gone because they want Taeyang and Jungkook to be together. And even writing on pictures to ask Jimin to leave this world and as disturbing as that is, how do you stop this? Leave the group, stop making music, never see Jungkook again? There's nothing you can do if you still plan on being friends with each other and still want to make music. But the hate kind of went a little more crazy when Jungkook posted a photo of Taeyang and himself on Instagram in front of a mirror and people attacked Jimin. Then there were comments begging Taeyang to address this, saying he has the power to stop this. I don't think he does. He can tell everyone to stop the hate and then suddenly it stops because in the history of fandoms existing, this is how it has worked. If anything, it'll just bring more attention to the hate and make the issue bigger. I don't know what you should do or how to stop this. I just know that it won't stop and that's the nature of being a celebrity and especially one that is that big. Jimin's hate is not Taeyang's fault and I would appreciate it if if people would stop expecting him to do anything because it's not his job and quite frankly he has his own death threats to deal with too. And don't also don't be a toxic shipper and attack other members. Like if you want Jungkook and Jimin to be together that's fine but if Jungkook is spending time with Taeyang and you attack Taeyang that's not okay. Or if you like Jungkook and Taeyang so you attack Jimin that is also not okay. Enjoy the moments you like and the moments you don't like just move on. We don't know who is dating who or if they're gay or whatever the situation situation is. None of them have said anything. Let's not jump to conclusions. But also let's not crucify them for just hanging out with each other. They have been all around the world in every hotel imaginable, spending countless time together and talking and hanging out. And they have done so much and have been through so much, each member with each other that they're so much more than family at this point. Every one of them, they're going to hang out with each other and you can even see how much they love each other given that on their break, they're choosing to post about each other and spend time with each other. They love each other. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there and check that out, I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. Currently, we do have over 400 videos that are already up on there. They have access to it the moment you sign up. So if you're interested in being a part of that community as well as checking out those videos over there, then make sure you go over there and check that out. Link is in the top of the description down below. With that said, there is a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. That video is on the front page. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. I'll see you over there, friend.